uh, welcome back to my uh, fourth class. Is it called? Yeah, fourth class for HPALM 12.5. Okay, HPALM we know right. It's an application lifecycle management, and we'll just go through. Um, actually, just uh, again, this class is today. Today, you know, it's a new day. Uh, so. <coughs> So we'll just go a little bit uh, log into this and see what we have actually, you know, gone through this. Um, we were actually testing an uh, GMO online mill, Green Mountain Outpost uh, in this test management tool. We were trying to create test cases. Remember? Uh, so yeah, so we were trying to create test cases. See here, uh, we created test cases for just to recap yesterday's. Uh, I mean, if you are working, on it, I did it yesterday, so I'm saying yesterday. Okay, so previous class uh, we did uh, for for what for uh, Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Chrome browser. You know, we we have created steps. Remember. So since I don't want lot of test cases, not that I don't want to. It's like we have to be more. Uh, you so that's the reason why we call it test case, right? What is the test case? Simple question from our, uh, you know, um, uh, interview point of view. So, what is a test case? Test case is a high-level document prepared by QA and list. So, high-level document. So, keep it high. Level. Don't go more details. So, we are going into details. Although we are going to details, you don't know we perform passive case, negative scenarios. But you know, we will just keep it high level. We are not doing everything and uh, anything. We have to do based on what. The requirement says what are the requirements that you have to do. Not everything. Remember that. So, but technically you have to see most of things. You know most of see. For example, let me uh, show you what defect. Like you know this is 1997, but this is 2000, 2020. So they didn't update it in 2020. From 1997, it's been like this. So it's an it's I will take it as a bug. But uh, you know it just a uh, defect. So you know we were trying to. Uh, so we work on that defect module separately, uh, not here. But what I'm trying to say is, uh, we were working on test cases. We we, we created a test cases in, in the Chrome browser. We created for Firefox. How we did, you know, uh, we don't have to create for each and everything. Copy and paste. <coughs> Sorry, change the you know name. Rest of things remains same. Right. We also did uh, RTM. Remember, uh, requirement traceability matrix. What is RTM? Of course, requirement traceability matrix. But the definition is all the test cases should at least match one requirement. So that's at least matching one requirement, right? So we have completed RTM. So that's pretty much about test plan yesterday. What we have done. Let's go to pretty quick. Not pretty quick. We'll be in detail. Um, let's go into test lab now. Test lab. Now here is the problem. Okay. No. Now what's uh, so? What's the problem? The problem is um, most probably you might have the project created. So this is the root. So you, you see here the root. <coughs> um, see, that's the reason I hate HPLM so bad. This thing is. It's for I don't know why it was created must be okay. So you, you were lucky you have found that GMO online project was readily available. If you are unlucky, you have to create a GMO online yourself and found out oh it was already available, you created later. Uh, no mind, who cares? So that might be scenario. So make sure you know uh, you already see that because these these are uh, limited, but in real time you'll have much more larger project would be thousands of uh, test I mean, thousands of directors thousands of folders so it's pretty much uh, complicated than what actually right now it is right but this is nothing I mean this is for your training purpose so training right so training is pretty simple so it is um, there was uh, some nice mini Facebook mini you know <coughs> so uh, I'll, you know just giving you for uh, an understanding so how you teach in a class they will say 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 you know and um, and then what is what the teacher explains you you know 
5 into 2 is equal to 10. Very good. When the examination results, when the examination paper comes, they will ask you like uh, the mass of the earth is this much, calculate the weight of the sun. CSP. So this is how the life is. So you know here what I am teaching is like 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So uh, in the examination it will be asked, they will give you mass of the earth and calculate the weight of the sun. Right? Uh, oh really? How do you do that? You know, so that's how it will be. So the, the point is, uh, what I'm saying you will be only understanding 50% of you. So the whole point is, you know, so, okay, so that was just, uh, that was just a, um, a diversion from the topic, but just for your understanding, okay. So um, we will be having this, uh, that was just uh, for your understanding, how we understand. It's a true, actually, it's pretty much true. So the problem is you may have project, you may not have project readily available here in this place. So let's say if you're lucky, you will have this project. Uh, let's do this, you know what? Um, since we don't have, you know what, I'll delete this. So you don't, you, you don't, in real time, you don't delete anything. Uh, but here I'm deleting here, uh, but for the ease of uh, you know, for our um, testing purposes, because I want to show you. But but you don't delete in real time. Don't do that. Uh, here we are deleting. Let's say you're lucky. You got GMO online project. Let's put GMO online. I think there's no GMO on other online. Here yeah, it's good. Oh, too bad. So what the problem is you always have to create on see that's the wrong thing I did you have to put in the root directory see the see remember what I did the mistake I did some mistake here I created a, a folder inside a folder no I don't want folder inside a folder I want the folder in the root directory this is the root directory this is the root folder right everything should be here unless and until your project is sub project or if your project is uh, sub module project or something like that other than that you don't create anything uh, folder inside a folder no you're not doing inception here okay unless and until there is a sub uh, project or it's something you will be doing that otherwise you have to create let's create click on root um, that is the root here that's uh, all the folders and directories are created from the root and click on new folder and click on GMO online right uh, GMO let's name it a GMO online very good we, we got this name GMO online uh, you can assign a cycle here um, let's say um, GMO online probably we have some cycle here very good we we'll just put a cycle one yeah it was old I think see this old one November <coughs> okay never mind so I mean it's not really required yeah, we can just remove this you know, clear it and okay it's not really required but you can uh, for ease of understanding you can do that too uh, you know for now once uh, let's let's refresh it let's refresh it we still have that same gym on library what we have in this okay good now what we did is just created a folder or directly we need to create a test set here what is a test set it's a framework okay now let's do this now what we did in test plan is not available in test lab just take to your notes please write down in your notes or if you are taking notes write down please take a note that you have created a test plan is not available in test lab that's the major and um, the greatest drawback um, of uh, ALM 12.5 at least I am not sure about recent um, uh, recent uh, versions of ALM but uh, uh, from previous this is coming from test director in Mercury quality center oh yeah quality center now I remember quality center uh, there was like first thing when I used it it was like in 2009 I suppose yeah 2009 uh, 2010 probably 2009 December something like that <coughs> uh, 2010 something January kind of thing 
um, I didn't use test director but before that there was a test director and I used like mercury quality center 9, 9.12, 9.39, I don't know, mercury 10, mercury quality center 10 also I have used. Later what happened is Hewlett Packard bought that mercury and they made it application life cycle management. Oh, it's a very big new one. There's no, it's not new. It's the old thing what is coming from the test director. You know, it's, it was named as test director, which I never used it, and to be honest. I used Mercury Quality Center. That was brief. Uh, that was a little bit uh, easier than this one, actually. They screwed up here in this. But uh, nevertheless, so once you, uh, you know, create this folder, mind this, you just, this folder is different from this folder, nowhere related. If you're lucky, you will be, if you're lucky in the project, you will be there or else you have to create yourself. I found myself that I found it in, you know, test lab. So normally because a lot of people will be working on it. So, all right. Now you have to create test, new test. Now this is something which you have to create. Now, this becomes complex. The reason, because a lot of people are working it so a lot of test sets will be there so you have to create your own test set there is no way to use any someone else test sets okay don't use anyone else you are uh, let's put it as geomo online since there will be hundreds of geomo online built on test set so what i'll do here is i'll put it my name so that now if somebody else want to use it they cannot use mine so because it's mine why are you using mine you know it's kind of like the, the, even if they use i because they will be at their name will be shown up i'll ca call them and say hey what's up man? what's your why you are using mine so you cannot there is no reason to use uh, somebody else one if you have to use your own create your own and because you have read and write access for this so in the test plan and test lab you have all the read and write access Okay, you are the boss for test plan and test lab module. Okay, you, that's the only thing you have. So here you have to fill these options. Change that um, January seventh. Okay, fair enough. Uh, January seventh. Today is January seventh. Okay, change by who did change? Okay, I changed. <coughs> My name is there. Very good. Um, and change at what? same time 11 38 oh, one minute late okay fair fair enough created by i created it so this is the thing right test plan can be created by someone and you know it can be executed by someone so that's the reason you have this option closed it ah oh, so this is a very good question so i'm closing this today today we are closing all the classes for hplm so closed it will be for me is one today so i'll be using this one Default environment. So if you know this environment thing, right? There are three types of environment. So I never talk about this because it was never required. <coughs> so there are three environments: development environment where developers work on it, QA environments where uh, QA analyst, QA engineer, QA tester work on it, and there's a production environment where nobody works on it. There's customers who actually work on it. So if it's an environment, then you have this environment option is default, right? And open date today, okay, this is fair enough. And the responsible, okay, so the responsible, that's a very good question. So as I told you, right, if you are creating a test case, if you're in a big company, let's say uh, Amazon or Google or something like that, um, sometimes your responsibilities are very limited, all right? So what happens is, you have to write test cases somebody else will execute the test case okay in this scenario uh, we are the one who is writing the test case and i am the one who will be executing the test case so in this case we will be uh, we are the one so <coughs> okay all right so okay now you have to fill up all this information without filling up this information so make sure this information is filled up why because if you are not filling up this information it will go to some other project or some other people which is not necessary right it has to be uh, this information should be 
you know, filled so that you know everybody knows who is working on it and uh, what is going on with the projects. It's very important, right? So here type is default. So let's put it default because it will give an error if I try to change with any other thing. So let's not uh, change any other thing. Status. Um, okay, status. Oh, status is supposed to be open. Okay, let's let's not worry about this. Oh, yeah, you can actually put open action. Let's see this. What happens? Give it an error. We'll see that. If you have a built, you can put a built right. And this information is enough like this. Uh, dynamic data. Suppose there is no dynamic data here. Description. Test cases for. I just just write some description. Like test cases for GMO online. Right. With test cases for GMO online and uh, functional test cases, functional testing. No one we put this functional testing uh, for GMO online. Okay, we just put as functional test because we have written functional test cases, right? We never talk about the CTL perspective. Probably, if I get some time or if I have some time in future, I'll create for ETL. But for now, we'll just create for functional test. Okay, and click on OK. Very good. So you see here, there is a test set created for me. You can create multiple test set, and here you see this is I empty. But I have created what? I have created three, four, five test cases, but you don't see here, right? Because we didn't do anything here. There's a problem with this HP error. You know. What you have to do right now is pull the test cases from the test plan and drag and drop it right here. How do you do that? That's a very good question. Um, the, you have to click on this option called select test and now you are actually browsing this test plan tree. You see a test plan tree? That's what we are browsing here. I know this is very odd, right? You could have created same test case there and executed same place. Why do you need a separate? Uh, module for that, I don't know. Uh, so that's the reason I don't like these people screwed up every day. Okay, never mind. Um, let's not worry about it. Uh, we worry about our GM online project. Ah, now I see all my all my test cases. All right, very good. So what I do is I can drag and drop each and everything. Either you can drag and drop or select this and use this one. What I'll do is to be to create a surprise I'll, I'll make a surprise for you now when I drag and drop this whole folder or whole directory the directory doesn't get updated but inside what is there inside the directory gets um, uploaded here let's find out let's uh, let's create some surprise here uh, I'm creating here and putting here now you're saying like do you want to add five test folder to set only test that current filter and test lab will be added. Fair enough. Yes. And here you go. <coughs> okay. Now I've created. Now you have this. Um, you know this various columns here, right? See, you can you can change it. I mean, <coughs> you can see here. And if you don't want some column, you can remove this column. Let's say. Um, let's try to remove this column. Oh, yeah. oh no. So let's clear this filter. Um, how do I remove this column? I just go ahead and click on this. Uh, let's say I don't want plan host name. I go back and click on it. It's gone. Okay, let's stop this. Um, I don't want, let's say, plan executive form. So I'll go to this column. And plan executing date. Click on this. Throw this back into here. If you want everything, just put this everything. Oh, oh I don't want everything. It's uh, it's it makes more hectic for me. Okay, good. Now uh, I have plenty of room to see what uh, the problem is. The filter is getting cleared every time I do that. It's okay. So now we have okay very good. Now I have an option to see which uh, okay this is the one. All right. So we have this. We have to execute our test cases for Chrome browser 
for Firefox browser, Internet Explorer browser, Microsoft Edge browser, Safari browser, too much of work. Alright, now we'll do that. We'll do that right now. Okay, not, a, not all of them, but I'll show you an example and see how we. So these are sets. You know, we, remember we have created in one uh, set, that's why it's called test set. Remember, see this new test set? Because in one set, you can create a multiple test cases, uh, multiple what you call test cases, yeah, test cases. Test steps you, fi you find in this, you click on this, you open it, here you see this test. Actually it's supposed to show up here, but no records found, but um, this thing is, actually there is a bug in administrator itself, administrator have to work on it and see on this, but uh, let's level of mind. So, now what we are going to do is execute our test cases. So you can either execute all of them at once. No, we are not going to do that. Um, we are going to do one by one, one after the other. Okay, let's do this. Okay, now first let's execute the Chrome browser. Okay, I'll go ahead and click on run. First select it. Which one you want? Firefox, Internet Explorer. Microsoft Edge or Safari which one are you working on right now I'm working on Chrome browser so I'll select this Chrome browser and run this very good um, I don't know why the screen is still for okay comments I can add comments yeah sure no I'm running this for GM online okay good great ah now it's good <coughs> okay so this is all there. So what it says description, enter the URL demo.boardland in the Chrome browser and hit enter. Home page, what is expected? So what is description? What is expected? Home page of GMO online should be displayed as per the requirement. Oh really? So this is the home page of GMO online this is as per. So what I'll do is I'll just copy and paste. Home page of GMO online should is displayed. Okay. As per the requirements, see that this is super. <coughs> and I click on pass. Now you see this from no run, it gets uh, a change to pass status. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the description? Click on enter GMO online button. Page is navigated to uh, online catalog as per the requirement. Oh, really? Let's find out. So what are what they are trying to say is click on enter GMO online button and page is navigated. Oh sure, online catalog. Great. So page is navigated to online catalog as per the requirement. What you do now is you click on pass selected. Very good. Now enter the value in the value 10 in the order quantity for 2% down 10. Um, and click on place an order button. What what happens? Page is navigated to place an order as per the requirement. So they are saying like put in ten and click on place an order and page is navigated to place an order. Fair enough. Okay. Page is navigated to uh, place an order page as per the requirement and click on pass selected. Very good. Now. What happens next is um, click on proceed order button. So page is okay. Proceed order button. Okay. So this is my value, and I go to proceed. What happens is you get all this information here. Oh, I have to use this one. So my express card is pretty much hectic. Good. I'll find something. Um, so here you want to use car 12 and same as. So we did pass this. Okay, building information. Fair enough. Page navigated to building information page. Fill all the information in building information page and click on place an order button. Right? Place an order button. Oops, 
I made a mistake. This Google form is really doesn't work. Two zero three six ninety six one eight three. I will refresh it. Very good. Wait, wait, hold on a second. I hate this Google thing show up every time. <laughs> okay, so okay, I'll refresh it. Okay, good. Now place an order. So the problem is they are not taking this. So you have to use all bulk tape. Too bad. Okay, now it should take. Okay, good. And uh, they already classified it as 203, 690, 6183. Very good. So what happens is page is navigated to. Okay, good. So this is going good. And uh, we have passed this one too. Um, and the next is uh, return to home page, green mounted home page, and click on this button and it goes to the home page. Fair enough. Uh, so page is navigated to GMO online home page and it's you know it's as per requirement and click on that. So in this scenario we pass all the test case and we hit it start and it says like and now you say see here right we previously didn't show up well there's a bug actually there so now you see everything here uh, now since one thing is completed more for uh, I'm sorry I cannot give you homework because you don't have access to this tool sorry about that um, I really wanted to give you access because most of my video tutorial uh, most of my tutorials have access lot of people from different countries from Canada from I don't know from Saudi from I don't know Malaysia I don't even know the countries people access use that sometimes they use it I mean there's no hacking because I'm already giving you username and password for the whole world the whole globe right uh, whoever wants to use it they can sure you know they can use it but unfortunately this this is the class something which I really don't have access I'm really sorry about it so you cannot use it unfortunately so i am shown you how to pass the test case Let, let's fail one of the test case all right um, you, so here you have this option of failing this here don't use this one it's because if you use this one your boss will catch you right handedly because the execution time you see here you took some time to execute it if you put it as like pass just like that here if you put it as pass right it will show as all one time all you know 258 258 258 258 258 now what happens is when you're using that they will catch you right handedly that you didn't test an application you just use the status and put it past oh that's a very bad idea i mean you can it's not like you won't use it it's like you have to get proper authorization from your QA lead okay this is no not applicable okay use an n by a okay we are not using this or it is blocked it is blocked because we are not using it or it is it's no run okay no run use it no run but other than that uh, you without proper authorization you cannot use this status just like that you have to use manually go ahead and click run and you know, do this let's let's do for firefox pretty quick here okay although i have firefox so i'm not using it let oh, I mean, this is okay so the same thing home page of uh, gmo online is okay fair enough home page of gmo online is displayed as per the requirement and I pass this test case so we are doing this second time but for this is for Firefox you have to do manually every time when you are doing this okay click enter uh, you know put the values so I am not just doing uh, doing again but I am just showing you because here online catalog I'm just okay let's pass this one too 
pages and place an order for order page okay you know this page is navigated to place and as per the requirement fair enough and no wait here what has happened is place an order here I found a bug now what I'm saying here is billing and I'm sorry shipping and shipping so what I'm doing here is let's do some um, testing here okay so what happens is when I'm ordering a large quantity uh, shipping and handling okay fee is showing five dollars for this many large quantities you see here this many large quantities now here's the thing my question to a business analyst or to my lead or to a developer or to my boss or to scrum master to project manager to anyone who is working on this project is the first question what I will be asking is the question is shipping and handling fee why it is five dollars when you are shipping this many quantities so does even if the let's say they ship through USPS United States Post Postal Service right USPS so even they ship it from this very cheap uh, okay it's not cheap but um, very economical price and uh, you could get five dollars for that I don't think so it's a bad okay let's forget about it for for a time being okay let's not worry about it sales tax let's say I'm on Delaware let's say I'm on Texas I mean Texas uh, I, I'm sorry not uh, De Delaware Delaware is, doesn't have sales tax Delaware doesn't have sales tax now I have to pay this much amount for what for nothing because Delaware doesn't have sales tax now this is wrong this is a defect so now I'm, I'm opening a defect seriously so I will be shipping and uh, let's say shipping and handling fee is showing as five dollar and I'm failing this defect now since this defect is failed see since it's not moving further but you can move further and you can probably test all other all of test cases since it's not blocked okay it's just a bug what I'm trying to show you here but and you can pass this uh, page is navigated everything is really good you don't have any issues page is navigated an online store page as per the requirement and page is navigated to the home page as per the requirements fair enough um, and everything is part now here's the problem the problem is even if the test one test step is failed let's say step three is failed see here this is failed I failed it because shipping and handling for is five dollars when okay let's view more information when I am trying to add when I am trying to um, trying to order in large quantities in bulk bulk quantities okay I'm trying to give more information here and once if even one step is failed that means whole test set is failed let's find out click on end run you see here it's failed even though all are passed except one it, it is considered as failed step I mean failed test case this test case is failed right so that's pretty much for uh, you know running a test case in test lab okay that's what you do so we will be talking you know uh, we'll go to the next module in the defects module and see you can you know as a matter of fact you can open defect right here um let's do it let's, let me show you actually um <coughs> sorry so what you do here is when you are running this right when you run this and begin run right uh, you can open defect right here right in place here and see a new defect you can open defect right here uh, but this is something which um, I never showed you I don't have to do it 
um, you you can do it. I mean, it's not a big deal, but uh, you can open. Uh, one more bad thing about this: you can open uh, the defects from here. Wait, hold on. Where are my test skills? Te in the test plan. Hold on. We are just behind us. So you see your test cases? Okay. Uh, I failed one, right? You can open test case. Why is this for? I don't even know. So don't do this. I mean, this is not really required. You have to open test case only for which test case you have opened for. This, let's say, it failed for Firefox. <coughs> no, it, it will fail for all other test cases. But I just give, giving an example here. Okay. Um, here, if you click here, go ahead and link here. You can, you know. So this is appropriate way of doing this. Don't link your test cases defects here. If you oh, I have to click, uh, clear my okay, clear this filter. Okay, good. You don't open it here. So if you're opening defects here, that means it's a defect to the whole test set. No, we are not opening defects for the whole test set. We are opening defect to this particular test set. Or Firefox browser, or Chrome browser, or Safari, or whatever browser it is, Opera browser, I don't know. So you want to go here and, and link it here. So we'll talk about this just in the next class, and um, that's pretty much in the test lab module. Okay. So uh, let's recap. I'll just uh, recap once the you know uh, what we do in the test. Uh, okay, test plan. We write the test cases. Fair enough. What we do in the test lab? We execute the test cases. Now, this is not easy saying that just execution. Here, what you do, you create a folder a directory here and create a new test set. What is a test set? It's kind of framework. Framework for your, uh, you know, to pull out your test cases. All right. Um, uh, you know, so that's the reason you have to create this is something which you have to create this is not project no one creates it for you this is the folder is probably created or not probably not but this is your work this is your job as a tester let's take uh, uh, okay the whole point of explanation is, is on QA point of view so uh, I'll also write on the description so that uh, people don't get confused like you know you didn't explain this you didn't explain that oh, sorry about it but uh, I'm explaining more on a QA point of view so the whole point is <coughs> you know you have to create your own okay being as a developer you still have to you, you create your unit test remember you do unit testing unit testing you have to create that's for developers if developers want to do it they also have to do the similar option not same but similar Okay, and uh, you know you have to. Then you have to uh, show you how to uh, execute. Uh, I'm sorry. Select the test case from your test plan. Drag and drop here. Either one or two. You can drag and drop. I I can drag and drop second time too. You just want to see this? See here. I can do that. So you know, drag and drop, um, and then we executed the test case by running this and. By this we can pass and fill the status of the test. So that's pretty much on the test lab module in HPLM 12.5. All right. So that's pretty much. Um, I hope uh, I covered everything. So for a few of the questions, like what is a bell mark? Uh, what is chain icon? Chain icon and attachment. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I missed uh, one thing. Okay, okay. I missed one thing. <coughs> now, um, so the question is. Uh, okay, this is always a question from your boss. Now this time the question is from your boss. Now what happens is your boss will call you. Hey, can you stop by at my desk? And you go to the desk, and your boss says, "Okay, very good. Uh, you have passed the test cases. How do I know that you have passed the test cases? You might have just." did click on this you really didn't pass the test cases that's a very good question so I don't never give chance to my boss to talk about such questions that's really a, a, a negative remark on you and on me not explaining this is really bad on me too bad 
<coughs> All right. So let's go back to our list. What I want to do is we have to document our work. Okay. So documenting our work is very important. So what is our you know we run our test cases. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have this. Okay. So enter this URL in Chrome browser and hit enter. The expected home page of this. Okay. Good. <coughs> so still in opening. Okay. So what I'll do here is I'll take a screenshot and I'll use this paint. Although you don't have to use paint, I'll use paint and <coughs> and I'll use only what is required for my project. <coughs> right? And uh, use this and paste. Very good. This is my step one, and I go back to the same. <coughs> okay, let's go to the next step. What is it? What was the next step? Says, uh, next step is click on online. Okay, we know that. Um, click enter this and put what in, and take a screenshot. Right, and you want to select which is appropriate for you. <coughs> right and click on this this is my second step and third step is go back oops not right and then uh, I click on place an order take a screenshot oh my god screenshots are hot up the system you know you never give a chance your boss saying that how do I know that you have uh, seriously those questions are never ever come to me in my life you know what I learned that in a hard way um, nobody asked me to says um, now this if someone says that um, I'll just give them a straight answer why don't you look into this and see the, the test cases um, they'll never never come back to me again I forgot that. You can use this card. That is contract. We can use contract though, but any of my can use this card and do. 2020. This is for testing purposes. We use for testing purposes. Take a screenshot and put it here. <coughs> Oops. Actually, I mean you can put uh, the way it is wanted, but I will not put the additional information because uh, I don't want others to see everything what is there. Only what is required for my project is what I am showing that we did uh, our testing well. That's what to show my boss. Alright, place an order. So don't want that. And um, this, this is the vital information that I missed actually. So we are covering this right now, right? And then um, the next step is the final step is. Pay, you know, click on return to home page. Pay is navigated to home page of Juma online as per the requirement. So, uh, return to home page, take a screenshot, use this, and here you go. Alright. And you can name this as step one. You know what? I'll name it here. I hope this works. This is my step two. This is my step three. I mean, this the the next one actually. This, this is the step three. Okay. This is my step four. Okay. 
this is my step phi <coughs> the lower one the, the lower one is actually equal to step phi okay and this is my step 6 see here um, for some reason I didn't create a step 1 so I can do that okay um, and uh, that's what we are six steps right six steps six skinny shots remember and uh, save it wait what um, save at my um, desktop and I'll save it as test cases oops test cases and save it and I did save this very good what I'll do here right now, this is for my Chrome browser, not Firefox browser. So I'll go ahead and click on Chrome, click on attachment, and then go ahead and click on file. And then what I'll do here is go ahead and click on desktop and find out where exactly is my. Oh, uh, here you go. This is uploading here. Very good. Um, please view details screenshots of test cases and we can do once you see this attachment shows up this clip icon shows up that means there's an attachment for this <coughs> you say this is how important this is this is very important big why because your boss you will not have chance to talk your boss will not have chat you, you, so what happens is right your boss will ask you okay do, how do i know that you have tested this application that's a very good question it's a valid question they're paying you right they're paying you for not for just playing around they're paying you for to, to do the work right so in that case you want to tell hey, hey you know what i've created test um um, I have on the screenshot. Can you check the attachment? Here is the attachment. Uh, when we tested it, there was no issue. I'm not sure if there are any uh, development changes recently, uh, but when we tested it, there was no issues, and all the test cases were passed. Okay, so that's what you want to see. So that was a very important topic. That was that I missed it. Actually, that's the most important part of the whole test lab module. So that's pretty much so we close right here um, any questions sure um, you know you can uh, reach me out um, uh, okay if people are logging see <coughs> there are some thousand people who will be uh, using it so what I would suggest is um, please keep it limited uh, because I'm not a thousand people I can respond one or the other but I also have some other work if I get thousands of questions so probably there is a most possibility that I may not respond to it uh, but I will try to respond each and every people if there are few questions you know I will try to you know see that your questions are answered okay so that's pretty much and um, you know I hope you like this um, no video and thanks for watching.